Hey everyone, hope you're doing well. I got exciting news. The Loyal 3 transfer has officially been done. So now my account is on Folio first. Um, and so far I've been going through this and it looks kind of nice. <clears throat> uh, this is basically your dashboard when it pops up. Um, you can see I still have my five securities that transferred over. Amazon, Intel, Unilever, Google, and Facebook. Um, I'm at 629. I believe I have invested around 550. So, you know, like 80 bucks or something I've made in maybe February, I think, when I started this. Um, it's not too bad. Um, again, it's still fractional shares, which is like the main selling point of this with this service. Um, I be, I'm not a hundred percent sure if you guys can get into it. Actually, no, you should. There was. There was a uh, for non loyal three customers to to be able to get into. I think the difference is is you do pay a five dollar a month just flat rate fee for this service, but if you're a loyal three customer, I think it's waived until like August, and then after that you have to pay start paying the five dollar a month. So I get a little free ride until like August or whatever. But I mean, from what I've seen so far on this, you know, five bucks a month, you know, it's not bad. Plus, there's a lot more options here. <clears throat> And you see just have the options on the side right here. But the investment room, there's a there's a lot of there's a lot of stocks for you guys. You have the bisectors and you have the alpha list, which I guess is just their top uh their top uh stocks that do the best or whatever by letter. But let's let's go through the alphabet. Let's let's take you in step by step just to show you the broad scope of stocks that they give you guys for now. And again, it's free to trade. Um, you just pay the $5 a month flat fee and you can buy fractional shares of these stocks. So if you want to buy a, a share of Amazon, which is $900, but you only got like 50 bucks, you know, then you can just put 50 bucks and you buy a fractional share of it and it'll trade as Amazon shares trade. Let's see. We got consumer goods. We got all our stocks here on the left and the charts on the right. You can look at a one month, three month, all the way to three year. You get a company profile, get some information on it. Um, looks like you can get some market data information. Um, but let's see what they got. So they have this is all consumer goods: Altria, uh, Anheuser Busch, Blue Buffalo, Coca Cola, Colgate, Dr Pepper, Hershey, Kellogg. Kimberly Clark, Kraft, Mondelez, Monster, Nike, Pepsi, Philip Morris, Procter Gamble, PVH, Ralph Lauren, Unilever, Reynolds, and VF Corp. So that's kind of just their consumer goods selections. Not too bad. Let's see what else they have. Defense. Here we go. This is going to be interesting. Boeing. I do not know how to say this. Angility Holdings? Angility? I don't even know. Never heard of that company. Um, General Dynamics, that's good. Honeywell, that's good. HP, Huntington, Ingalls, I haven't heard of that one either. Lados Holdings, man, there's, there's a couple here I haven't heard of. Lockheed Martin, that's a good one. Raytheon, that's a good one. Northrop Grumman, that's a good one. This is like, they got basically my Defending America stock and my Stash ETF. Now I could, now you can, I could buy the individual uh, stocks for just fractions. That's pretty sweet. Um, so if you guys can't get maybe that stash defense app or ETF, you know, maybe you guys can just go to this service and you can just buy the individual companies that you want. And again, you just buy fractional shares. So you can buy f five different companies for 10 bucks each. And then you have, you made your own little ETF in a sense. Uh, you got Rockwell Collins, Textron, United Technologies, Trans and Westco Aircraft. Okay. Not bad. Let's see what else energy they got Anadarko, Apache, Baker Hughes, Canadian Natural, Chevron, it's a big company, Conoco Resource, Conoco Phillips, that's a big one, Continental Resources, Devon Energy, EOG, Exxon, that's a big one, Halliburton, that's a big one, S Corporation, Kinder Morgan, that's a good one, Marathon Petroleum, uh, Occidental Petroleum, Phillips 66, that's one of Buffett's favorites. Pioneer Natural Resources, Valero, that's a big one. Williams Company. There's a lot of options on fucking energy. Um, entertainment, Activision Blizzard, that's a good one. AMC, 
Carnival, CBS, Charter Communications, Comcast, Discovery, Dish, EA, it's a good one, GoPro, Hasbro, Las Vegas, Sands, oh, that's interesting, but I like the casino business, Mattel, Netflix, that's good, News Corporation, Time Warner, Time Inc., 21st Century, Viacom, Walt Disney, that's good, Wrestling, <laughs> I love that you can buy stock in wrestling. Entertainment, let's see what else. We've got a few more options here. Finance, here we go. That's where the money's at. Um, Alliance Data, American Express, that's good. AIG, Bank of America, good. City Group, good. Berkshire's Buffett, that's good. E Trade, Fannie Mae, interesting. Fannie Mae, fucking Fannie Mae responsible for 2008 crash. That's funny, it's on there. Uh, First Data, Goldman Sachs. Manulife, JP Morgan, MasterCard, Morgan Stanley, uh, Santander, Store Capital, Synergy, Trupanion, US Bank, UBS, Visa, Wells Fargo. Damn, there's a lot of options. Um, healthcare, oh, this ought to be interesting. Abbott, that's good. Abvi, that's good. Aetna, Allergen, Amgen, Anthem, Biogen. Bristol Myers, Celgene. Damn, you guys got some biopharmacal, biopharmaceutical options on here too. These are some good money makers. Vaccine delivering therapies. Damn, that's kind of cool. I think you guys would be able to buy. These are expensive. These are like, these are like buying uh, you know, a lot of uh, like tech stocks. You know, these are these are some bigger companies. <laughs> Celgene, these grow quickly. Celgene, Eli Lilly, Express Scripts, Gilead, another good, big one. Johnson & Johnson, Medtronic, Merck, another one. Pfizer, if you want to buy a fucking Viagra boner pill stock. The Striker, Teladoc, Thermo Fisher, United Health. Man, there's, there's a lot of options. Now I'm already liking this. Industrials, let's see what they got. 3M. Alcoa, oh, Alcoa is, uh, was it aluminum? Yeah, they're like the biggest aluminum producer or something. Arconic, Caterpillar, that's a good construction company right there. If you think Trump's going to, you know, build up the infrastructure like he says, that's a good company to invest in. Uh, Danner, Deer, it's a good agricultural company. Uh, DuPont, Dow, Chemical, big-ass merger that happened with them, I thought. Uh, Emerson Electric, Ford, they got a new CEO, and I wonder what the stock did after that CEO came in. Oh, it's been going down. Well, Ford did survive the economic crash, so I give that company credit for that. Uh, General Electric, GM, Parker, Hannifin, what? Manufacturing Motion Control Technology and System, okay, whatever. Um, Illinois Tools, Roper Technologies, Tata Motors, Union Pacific, Tesla, Booyah, United Parcel, Viker Corporation, um, man, there is a lot of stuff on here, retail, okay, Amercombrian and Fitch, Alibaba, nice, Amazon, nice, American Eagle, At Home, Best Buy, Buffalo Wild Wings, Costco, CVS, Dave and Buster's, Duncan, Gap, Home Depot. That's pretty sweet. I like Home Depot. That's like, a, see, look how good that stock does on the three-year. Damn, that's a, that's a three-year chart right there. It's pretty steadily gone upward. You could buy fractional shares of this and own some Home Depot. Whatever happens to the housing bubble, housing market crash, at the end of the day, Home Depot is like the do-it-yourself type of store, you know, and I think that's always going to be a, a good business. Uh, Kate Spade, Kohl's, L Brands, Lowe's, another good one. I bet that's probably looking the same on a three-year. Yep, pretty consistent on a three-year. That's pretty good. Uh, Macy's, McDonald's, Price Group, Starbucks, of course, Restaurant Brands, Target, Walmart, Yum China. Oh, and you got Yum Brands, but you also got Yum China. That's interesting. You can buy a Chinese... Uh, is it is it based all in China? It's cool. I didn't even know they had this. Unix engagement manufacturing, blah blah blah. There's a chance to protect fried chicken. Oh, okay. That's pretty sweet. 
it's headquartered in Texas, but still, still with China. So okay, and Alibaba, of course, that's a good one. Um, let's see, retail. What else we got? Technology. Okay, here we go. This is where the money's at. Advanced micro devices. I don't know how to say that. Gillant, Gillant, Gillant. Fuck it. Uh, Akamai Technologies, Alphabet. That's Google. I own that. Apple, BlackBerry, uh, CA. CA engages in provision management. Blah blah blah. Okay. Um, Broadcom Limited, Cisco, Endurance, Facebook. I own that. Globe. Uh, HubSpot. I think this is an interesting one. I forget. Was this the one I was looking at before? Cloud-based marketing. Yeah, cloud-based marketing sales. Okay. I think that's an interesting space to be in. I might come back to that later. Um, IBM, Intel, I own that. You know, I might sell my Intel for HubSpot because my Intel's not doing shit. Um, but we'll see. Microchip technology, Keysight, Microsoft. Ooh. 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 I wanted to buy this in my uh, in my uh, setup earlier. It's still it's still kind of high though. I'm waiting for it to come down. I'll get it on the way down. Nokia Square. What's Square doing lately? People haven't been talking about it as much. Well, it's kind of kind of going up, kind of coming down. Okay. Um, I like to buy companies that have a history. So I'm I'm, I'm sticking with Facebook over over. Uh, I mean Facebook. Uh. Like I would like buy PayPal over Square, you know, because PayPal is more established and it's been around longer. I know Square's got hype behind it, but that's just that's just how I like to invest. Um, what else we got? Technology, utilities, okay. American Electric Power, AT and T, Consolidated Edison, CenturyLink, Dominion Energy, Duke Energy, Exelon Corporation, Edison International, Frontier Communication, Next to Edvy. PGE, PPL, that's a lot of energy, Jesus. Public Service Enterprise, Qualcomm, Qualcomm is energy? That was chips. Sempra Energy, Southern Company, T-Mobile, Verizon. These are energy, I think you got these in weird spots. And Excel or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Okay, or utilities, my bad, I thought it was energy. And, oh, extra, exchange, the exchange traded funds, they give you some Vanguard funds, interesting. You got total total bond market ETF, total international stock ETF, and total stock market ETF. So if you wanted to buy an ETF and just have like a collection of stocks and stuff like that, you can buy these three. There's only three though, which is I guess kind of kind of small, but you know that's still pretty cool. It gives you gives you at least a little bit different option. I like the idea of the international one though. If you want to get yourself some international exposure. That's a good idea. Companies located in over 45 countries. That's pretty cool. You could always look up like the VXUS online and kind of see what it's in. But yeah, that's kind of a uh, that's kind of what the folio first is for right now. That's, that's not bad. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot more options than uh, what was it like 60 or 70? I think with uh, Loyal Three, now it's like over 200 with with ETFs. And like I said, it's still all fractional shares. You know, it's still um, free trades because they do batch uh, buying and selling. So they only buy and sell like once a day or whatever. So you basically put in your order, preferably earlier in the day. So it'll probably be executed that day or early morning next day. But um, yeah, I mean, so far I like this. And, and I guess down the road they're going to add... Um, uh, IRA option for this, which I'd love to see, because I, I I might transfer my IRA into this, because buying like I think overall buying fractional shares makes it easier for you to diversify yourself. Because like I said, if you can't afford some of these big priced uh, stocks, or you can't afford them, but it's going to cost like a majority of what you know you have available to invest in, you know you're not able to spread your risk out. So that's one reason why I like this setup, man. And there's, there's a, I'm pretty sure that anybody that looks like the, looks at these options, stock options, they'll, they can find something they like, and you know they can, they could pay, you know, easily, uh, a lot less and, and get what they want. And you know, like I said, they even have this alpha list, which looks like it just goes through all the stocks alphabetically and gives you like the best options. I'm, I'm guessing at least it's just what it seems like. But just look at all these fucking things. Look at all these choices.
So there's there's no excuse to uh, to pay full price for stocks now, or at least some of the major brands. You know, you could come to this uh, website set up and buy fractional shares and get a sample portfolio. Oh, look at that. You can even do a sample. You can, like, that's pretty cool. It builds you your own portfolio. That's pretty sweet. See, it's even got options. I can even tell you what it looks like on, like, what, a three or something? Or a one month? Was it three month? Oh, I see. It grows. That's pretty cool. Damn. Interesting. Well, if you if you don't know good stocks to pick, you can have a a portfolio that's 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 well balanced. Um, I don't know if you could change it though. I don't know, but at the very least, it, lo it looks like a well balanced portfolio. You have defense, technology, industrials, finance, healthcare, entertainment, consumer goods, retail, energy, and utilities. So. Overall, your risk is spread pretty good, so that's kind of nice. I like that. But, uh, yeah, I think uh, that'll be it. I'll make it on this video. I just wanted to give you all kind of a look through of what it is. I'm So far, I'm looking at it. It looks pretty sweet. Um, I have yet, I have yet to, uh, to uh, see if they have an app for this or not, but we'll see. I'm pretty sure they do, though. But, um... Yeah, going forward, you know, I'll be using this from now on so you guys will see it more and more. So, talk to y'all later. Um, and as always, if you want to uh, click like and subscribe, help me out. Um, if you have any questions, ask. Um, and I always attach my wallets now to the uh, the description. So, if you guys want to donate, uh, accept Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Ethereum. And, yeah, have a nice day.